Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Terry Martin. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. I've got some fun stuff set up for us. But before we move forward, please like and subscribe below um, so we can keep these videos coming out to you. Um, really love sharing some ideas and love getting feedback from you guys. So today we're talking about Easter decorating. If you don't have stuff in your house yet for Easter, now is the time. It's right around the corner. And what I love about Easter is it allows us to pull out those real pretty colors and kind of get us in the spring spirit so not only from the religious as aspect is easter so important it does kind of help the mind transition into spring which i absolutely love i'm a lily pulitzer kind of gal so uh any chance to pull out the pinks yellows and greens is okay by me so i'm gonna let you guys see a little tour of my house and how i've set up my easter decorations and then you're gonna come back here and you're gonna join me on a little tip on how to do dish towel throw pillows um so stay tuned and i'll see you guys in a second thanks a little Easter decoration tutorial here. We got my little fancy sign that I like to swap out all the principles of welcome. Everyone get yourself a drink tray. The kids love this. You put some lemons and packages of different, you know, crystal light stuff and straws. The kids think it's fancy. They come make their lemon water. Got this bunny at Goodwill for $8. Don't tell anyone. I love that bunny. It's my Goodwill bunny. And I've got my table. You've got your runner. So you guys, last year I was down at Bell's in the Keys and found these white bunnies. No lie, for like 79 cents. They were on clearance, clearance, clearance. So I got this one and then another one down there. But I've got my little white bunnies. I think when you're doing um, like a tablescape, you just need to kind of pick a theme and stick with it. So when you're shopping, if you see what your theme is, and you're allowed to buy it. So my thing for Easter is, is the white bunnies, and then I like the sparkle eggs, right? So I've got my little sparkle um, nest there. I actually found that nest last year. So I put one of those eggs, and I think I got these at the Dollar Tree, these little guys. But you've got your, your white bunnies, your runner, and then over here is another little vignette and I've got um, my little seasonal throw pillows. You guys, these I make from dish towels, so I'm gonna show you how to make those next. But they're more fun, and you can collect those throughout the, throughout the year. Just wanna give you a little snapshot of my Easter decorations. Hi guys. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tour of my home. It's simple, but it's enough to get us in the spirit of spring and Easter. And I don't know if you noticed on that last kind of frame, I had two cute uh, bunny throw pillows on my couches. So I make those with dish towels. And I don't know about you guys, but when I go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Target, I always see the cutest seasonal dish towels, but I am not a dish towel kind of girl. So nothing's gonna hang on my stove. It'll get stuck in the stove, it'll end up burning, I won't wash it, it'll have stains. But I always wanna buy them because they're so cute. So let me show you what I did with the dish towels. So this is the end result here. Um, and literally, you guys, it's a dish towel, it's a pillow insert, it's your glue gun and a strip of Velcro, okay? So let me tell you real fast what you do is you get your dish towels, you fold them in half, so you don't have to do anything with the top. It's just folded in half. This is the top of the dish towel. And then I glue gun, literally plugged your glue gun in, and you glue gun one side, the bottom side, and then on the back end, you 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 glue gun in, where, where am I here? You glue gun in your Velcro, here we go. You glue gun a strip, strip of Velcro in there, you shove your insert in, and boom, you've got the cutest pillows. So I've got an insert here. I actually got this, I was cleaning my daughter's bed and she had a bunch of throw pillows I had to get rid of, so I took the uh, covers off. If your inserts are too big, maybe you're just cleaning out your house and you find some, you can always cut them and take some of the stuffing out to make them a little um, thinner to fit in. So use what you got around the house. Try not to buy stuff. We've all got plenty of stuff around the house. And then I've got my dish towel, you guys. So once again, you fold it in half and then you're gonna glue gun two sides together. And uh, then on the opening side, you're gonna glue a strip of Velcro in here. Okay, you're gonna shove in your insert and then you get the cutest little seasonal throw pillows. I've got these for Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's, 4th of July, fall, Christmas. I love them. Super cheap, super fun, and now I get to buy those dish towels that I can never buy for myself and turn them into something cute for the house. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Thanks.